Either the deep state destroys America or we destroy the deep state. That's the way it's got to be. We're at a very pivotal point in our country. Either we descend into a lawless abyss of open borders, rampant killings, super hyperinflation, which is what we have right now and not coming down, and festering corruption, or we evict Joe Biden and the Democrats from the White House and we make America great again. As I have said for many, many years now, Republicans are masters at creating a boogeyman, at giving you their selected enemy. They are masterful in the execution of creating these fictional enemies every election cycle. They find a bully. Uh, keep in mind, keep in mind, Donald Trump really did not speak about solution. He talked about what he has determined to be enemies. And the crowd goes wild. Well, this has been a winning strategy for the Republican Party. In critical race theory out of our schools is not just a matter of values, it's also a matter of national survival. We have no choice. The fate of any nation ultimately depends upon the willingness of its citizens to lay down, and they must do this, lay down their very lives to defend their country. If we allow the Marxists and communists and socialists to teach our children to hate America, there will be no one left to defend our flag or to protect our great country or its freedom. Yeah, a lot of dog whistle in that speech. Once again, Trump wants to incite people to do violence for him because as my grandmother would say, he won't bust the soft side of a grape. So now he's telling people to go after a fantasy. Critical race theory is not taught in K through 12. Remember he said it is for our national survival. Do you think he's talking about all Americans or just a particular, I don't know, demographic? You remember he said that he is in fact a nationalist during a speech while he was president of the United States. This man is violent, he's a criminal, a thug. I stand here today and I'm the only candidate who can make this promise. I will prevent and very easily World War III, very easily. In 2016, I declared, I am your voice. Today I add, I am your warrior. I am your justice, and for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution, I am your retribution. I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. It will be settled quickly, quickly. I will get the problem solved and I will get it solved in rapid order. And it will take me no longer than one day. I know exactly what to say to each of them. I got along with very well with them. We will evict Joe Biden from the White House. And we will liberate America from these villains and scoundrels once and for all. When he said the way he would do it is very easily. And the crowd goes wild. That's not a strategy. That is not a methodology, that is not a political policy, that is not a political directive, that is not a governance directive. But the crowd went wild. Also, he said, if you've been wronged or betrayed, I want you to know who he's talking to. You've been wronged or betrayed, I am your retribution. Do not think he's talking to run of the mill conservatives. Do not believe that he is referring to everyday Americans. He's talking directly to the same people that he just made a mixtape with last week. The January 6th terrorist attackers, that's who he's talking about.